Uh, Sami from the U.S.? Um, so, Sheikh, we, the question is, we operate a trucking business in the uh, United States, and we obviously have truck drivers. Um, so when we find loads for the truck drivers, we negotiate the price with the brokers. Is it permissible um, for us to show the drivers as the, let's say, from point A to point B, the truck load rate is $1,000, to show them as $1,000, but we negotiate the prices? $1,200. On top of $1,000 that we show to the driver, we also charge 16% uh, for, for our fees. And then um, and the money that is kept out of uh, $1,200, which is $200, we re reuse for the driver for the upcoming weeks if the week is slow. Is that permissible? Is that first, first, first of all, is the driver a freelancer or uh, on your payroll? Uh, the, the, we have different types of drivers. Uh, we have drivers that work for us for uh, 60 cents a mile, and we have uh, lease drivers that we just charge them 16%. Okay, so what does it make, uh, uh, what difference does it make if you tell them that I'm going to pay you $1,000 or $2,000 or $100? Because this is negotiation. You're the owner of the truck. Or you're just the provider of the job. The the, the thing is, uh, some weeks they are very slow, no loads at all, and then you know we you know just give that money as a bonus or add to the to their next payroll. Yeah, so but in order to keep the balance and the relationship with the business. So I, I still uh, this needs a lot of clarification, Sami. I'm, I'm afraid that I have to speak to you more and more about this just to know the nature of the job and the relationship between the driver and yourself. And I'll, I'll, I'll come to mention this, inshallah, in the answer, bi'idhnillah. Sami from the U.S., the relationship, Sami, between me and someone that works for me, he is either a partner in a transaction. So someone comes to me and he says, Akhi, I'd like you to deliver this mug to Las Vegas. And I'll give you $10,000. said, okay. I go to a truck driver. He has his own truck. He's a freelancer. And I say, listen, I've got a deal for you. I'd like you to take this cup, this mug, to Las Vegas for $500. Any problem? No problem. He has the free will to say yes or no. He doesn't work for me. He's a freelance. I'm not obliged to tell him that I'm charging $10,000. So there's no problem with that. He can be a partner. And in partnerships, there has to be transparency. So he has to know exactly how much I'm making out of it, what are my expenses, and what is his share. He can be an employee of mine. So he's on my payroll. I give him $3,500 a month in order to work approximately like maybe 55 or 60 hours a week. And if he does this, everything is fine. If he does more, I give him bonus, I give him um, overtime, whatever. I don't have to tell him that I'm charging 10000 or $1 for this mug. He has to work and do that. So in order for us to understand the relationship, first we have to understand what is the relationship between me and this person working for me. And after understanding, I can tell you whether you can disclose or conceal how much you're getting for this uh, uh, transaction from a broker or from the same person that needs this transportation.